what I love using the internet. My name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a book review and I'll be doing a book review of The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Okay, so this book follows a society where a blood fever occurred in the, in the nation decades ago and the children that survived this fever came out with markings on their bodies that gave them a power and these made the children known as malfettos. So depending on your power, you can get taken into a different society. So in this book, there's the Dagger Society, that's why there's a dagger here. And these different societies and the Malfettos and everything all have their own name and that they're called the Young Elites. So this book follows a girl named Adelina who is a 16 year old girl and she is of course is a Malfetto and I'm not going to tell you what her power is because that's spoilerish and I want you to read the book and find out for yourself if you have not read the book. And so her scar or marking that she has left is she only has one eye and she has silver hair so something you can visually see is her hair and the scar on her eye. Okay, so basically Adelina has a very cruel father and she has to try to live with that and stuff happens and she meets these other Malfettos and gets shown to their type of world and meets all these new people and then there is this bad guy who is trying to like get information off her and stuff like that and we have to see what, what side she's going to take, the good side or the bad side and yeah, that's really all I can say without spoiling it because I feel like anything in this book is spoilerish and I really don't want to spoil this book because I want you guys to read it for yourself. So yeah, I don't really know what much more to say about the plot without spoiling it, so I'm just going to leave it there. I know that probably wasn't a really good synopsis, but I just don't want to spoil people. Okay, so I gave this book a three and a half stars out of five. And for me, that's a particularly low rating. I usually rate books about a four or five. So I was actually quite disappointed with the rating I gave this book and quite disappointed with the book itself, just because there's so much hype about Marie Lu and her books. And so I was really, really anticipating reading this book and it just fell short for me. And, I, and there is reasons why behind that, and I will explain that. But with Marie Lu, I just feel she's so hyped and I was just expecting to be blown away by this book and I didn't let the hype get to me because I didn't want to think no Kevin this is a good book I made my own opinions and I generally did not see what the huge hype was about this book but that is not to say that I did not enjoy the book because I definitely definitely did enjoy the book and I'm definitely gonna be picking up the second book and I just said definitely like four times in that one sentence but oh well but yeah my my main problem with this book is the characters I just could not connect with any single one of the characters and when there was stuff happening to the characters I did not care and I wasn't like getting any emotion or feelings toward the characters I just felt meh about all of it and for me when I read a book I need to connect to the characters and I need to feel like I'm with them or that I care about what happens to them and in this book I genuinely did not actually care what was happening to them and I think that's a really bad sign for me maybe with the writing but that could just be a personal thing because anyone else that has read this book might connect really well with the characters but it just for me I couldn't connect and I don't know why but I just couldn't and that's really why I had to lower my rating and also because it started off so good and so fast paced but then the middle happened and it was just so so slow in my opinion anyways anyone else might think that but it's just my opinion and the ending was amazing brilliant ending and i loved it and the epilogue was just i love that too and that's the reason why i want to read the second book because just the middle part brought the book down for me and it was the characters but other than that i did really enjoy the book i loved the concept i loved the fact about the powers i really love adelina's power it was such a, such a cool power and one that you don't see in books very often so i thought that was really really cool and I'm obviously not going to say because I don't want to spoil once again. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this book. I just wanted to do a book review because I feel like I won't be able to get as much as I wanted to get across in a wrap up or something. So I want to make a separate review for this book. And this was the book of the month for February of my book club, Worlds of Words. I'm going to have the link down below so you can join the book club if you want and join in our next month's pick, which is going to be I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. So you can join us and read that book for March. And we have our live show for this book tonight at 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is over on Ilse's Books channel, which I'm gonna have a link down below. So you guys should go subscribe to Ilse, of course, because she's just cool. And join in our live show, ask some questions maybe about the book, if you've read the book. 
and just hear our thoughts on what we thought about the book because I'm pretty sure Ilse and Jen love this book and I'm the one who just didn't like it as much so maybe let's see what happens with their thoughts and my thoughts. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. Uh, drop a comment down below on what kind of videos you would like to see next on my channel. I love getting suggestions from you guys and making videos that you guys want to see. So yeah, and other than that, I will see you guys all on Wednesday for my next video. So goodbye.